Hey guys, it's Leon. Today I got me some uh, charging unit for Xbox and PlayStation 5 controllers. Yeah, so anyway, these um, are aimed at folks that, like myself, like some uh, aesthetic to my desk whenever I'm charging my controller instead of having it just, you know, USB-C port and uh, it's just sitting there looking all nasty on my desk. These wireless charging unit right here are made so that, you know, it looks really good on your desk as it's charging. I've seen some TikToks and stuff like that, not in uh, with these particular Razer unit, but uh, with some other like the 8-bit though Ultimate, things like that. And it looks really good as, you know, there he's picking it up, playing games on it, you know what I'm saying? Anyhow, uh, so I picked both of these up because I have both system, Xbox and PlayStation. So uh, we're gonna unbox this today. Take a look at it. You guys can kind of see it at the same time, right? So let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, so over here, you got yourself Xbox and PlayStation right here. Let's, let's say we do um, Xbox first. So these come in varieties of colors. And if you have a purple controller, you can actually get a purple color for it as well. I'm, I'm really glad that Razer decided to do that because obviously, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is for people who care about aesthetics. So you got the uh, controlling unit right here, which by the way, it's pretty hefty, which is, I'm glad about that because when it's sitting up there, you want it to be kind of nice and uh, stable, right? Here's USB-C cords to charge it up. There's a port in the back right here for the USB-C cord. And then there's an, a battery unit for the controller. Let's just explain how this works real quick. You're not, you're not gonna be using your regular battery that's, that comes with your um, controller. So basically what that does is that uh, for the Xbox One controller, you're modifying uh, the base plate right here or the or the battery cover. So here's Razer battery right here. You see these little contacts that you see right there. And then this is the regular battery that you get with your Xbox. I believe that these aren't the regular battery that comes with the Xbox controller. I think these are aftermarket that I got. I, I forgot if I got those or not. Anyhow, um, this right here actually feels pretty hefty by the way compared to this battery over here that says is 1500 milliamp. Um, this is pretty hefty. And then there's these two covers right here. I'm not sure why there's two covers and only one battery, but hmm, let's take a look. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Because it's made for two type of controllers. One is Xbox One and the other one is Xbox X, Xbox S series. This is an S and X series controller, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. Let's see here. There you go. That gets exposed. And so once I attach this right here, you see the back right there. It's actually kind of like a magnet almost. I feel like it's, yeah. Oh wow, this is actually a better solution than buying an 8-bit though Ultimate controller. Because I actually like this Xbox controller quite a bit. Now let's try out the PlayStation 5 controllers. Found out that I didn't need to use my knife, by the way. Okay, so that's the reason why this box for the Xbox is bigger than the PlayStation right here because they don't have to include Xbox One accessories for it. PlayStation is probably just straightforward. Yeah, I mean, the box itself, it's super small. Same USB-C cord, just like the Xbox One or Xbox S version. Here's the PlayStation. Uh, look at the difference here, okay? Look at the difference. This is Xbox, this is PlayStation. There's a Razer logo on the PlayStation one. Not sure why they did that. The base actually looks different. And the back, look at the back. This is all white, this has black on the back. Only the front of this is white. Hmm. I like the Xbox design better. Anyway, so with the PlayStation, it does feel hefty, not as heavy as the 
Xbox One though, but um, you don't need the battery cover or anything like that because obviously if you know PlayStation, the controller already has these contact points on it and so Razer just kind of tapped into that with these right here. You see. And there you go. It just, there's no magnet or anything like that on here, I notice. Um, they are using the headphone jack port though in order to keep it not moving around. There you have it guys. This is what it looks like right here for the PlayStation. I kind of like the implementation on the Xbox a little bit better in my opinion. Um, with the whole like magnet and things like that but obviously you, you have to use their battery in order to for it to recharge because well the xbox control itself lets you use you know double a and stuff like that so i guess implementation is different but anyway with the uh, sony it's pretty straightforward i wish there was a magnet where i can just close my eyes and throw this thing on there though um, it's not as intuitive, in my opinion, as the Xbox. Anyway, I'm just being picky right there. So there you have it, guys. Uh, that's the Razer charging base for both the Xbox and the PlayStation 5 right there. I think it'll look pretty good on my desk. What do you think, huh? Yeah. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm out of here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.